Today's world is largely composed of digital displays. Over time, display screens have moved from having the form of the rigid monitors to becoming flexible and wearable. Flexible displays are often made of organic light-emitting diodes, or OLEDs. But manufacturing OLEDs at the commercial scale is expensive because of the cost of the heavy metals used and the sophisticated synthetic chemistry involved. Moreover, to obtain these heavy metals, the Earth's resources must be exploited, which is not environmentally sustainable, and the resultant devices later become toxic pollutants. Researchers from Queensland University of Technology and Griffiths University in Australia went looking for ways to manufacture more sustainable OLEDs at much lower cost. Their answer lay in using a widely available human bio-waste. In our advanced material research work at QT, first time we uh, demonstrated the fabrication of flexible organic light emitting diode or OLED display by using bio waste as a human hair uh, to synthesize the two-dimensional carbon dot emitter. Human hair was put through a simple high temperature and high pressure treatment in an oxygen deficient environment. Because hair is carbon rich, this thermal treatment enabled the formation of light emitting carbon quantum dots. When cast together with polyvinyl carbazole on a glass substrate, these carbon dots self assembled into islands forming a thin film layer with high crystallinity and ultra-high hole mobility, eliminating several problems that existing flexible biomaterial-based OLED displays have. This thin film exhibits high photoluminescence upon excitation with UV light. We have demonstrated the flexible device has a, a luminescence of 350 candela per meter square and on a rigid device it has a luminescence of 700 candela per meter square. This luminescence is still not sufficient for applications such as OLED TVs though and the chip only emits blue or cyan light at present. But with improvements, the chip has the potential to be applicable in many other places, such as in smart packaging, signage, and indoor display devices. We hope this technology will be noticed and invested by industry. This will enable us to further develop this technology into making colorful carbon dots with high color purity. Once we achieve that, then the waste-derived carbon dot-based displays will become a reality.